The three-day intermediate advanced class is ideal for design professionals who, whilst having a good understanding of Rhino, wish to become more confident and productive. This class is ideal for designers of all disciplines including product design, furniture, jewellery, artists and sculptors, film and TV, automotive industries, structural packaging and point of sale. The course starts with a Rhino refresher, ideal for those who are self-taught or who have missed out on some of the fundamental basic modelling constraints. Next, NURBS topology and surface structure is discussed in detail. NURBS concepts are explained in a non-mathematical, practical manner. Curve and surface continuity are also investigated and this theory is then put into practice with a number of exercises in which controlled sculptural forms are modelled in a simple and efficient manner. Advanced surfacing tools are also introduced at this point. Next we move on to look at the solid editing tools in Rhino and discuss common problems with closing edges and boolean failures. Solids are a perfect start for STL output from Rhino and the process of creating clean STL files is covered in detail. Tips and tricks such as using Rhino displacement to create texture are introduced and the uniform deformation tools are explained alongside reliable methods to get accurate results with these tools. Here's an extract from the course concerning the flow along surface command. So here we have a fairly straightforward model of a tyre that's just been created with a revolve. Um, I'm going to extract these three surfaces here which is uh, the area on which I want to create a tread and I'll just hide the rest of the model. Now flow along surface uh, works across uh, a single surface boundary so uh, the first issue here is that we have three separate surfaces. So I'm going to use a command called merge surface here. So um, this is a surface edit tool and it's called merge. And the important thing with merge surface here is that I want this smooth option to be turned off. And then I can pick my two surface edges and merge these. It's important that the smooth option is off here. Okay, we now have one surface that is broadly similar to the three separate surfaces that we had before. Now we have our single surface for the tyre tread area. We can measure the edge lengths and create a planar tyre tread. This is a poly surface and you can see it has some recessed details here and across the two short edges here the pattern matches seamlessly. This is important so the pattern will meet correctly at the seam of the target surface. We then go to transform, flow along surface, pick the planar tire tread and I'm going to use the plane option here. This will allow me to specify the height of the flowed surface to make sure it sits on the surface and then I pick on a corresponding corner of the target surface and after a while flow should do its job. We can then pick and either hide or delete the original surface and you'll see that our flow has now worked correctly. And you'll also see that across the seam at the base of the tyre here the pattern has worked correctly too. We focus on modelling strategy and show ways in which a project can be progressed from initial sketches through to a clean concept model. Fillets and blends are discussed in detail along with best practice tips and tricks for creating clean transition surfaces. Managing large data sets with blocks and work sessions is also discussed along with presenting from Rhino and ways of creating custom display schemes. Throughout the class there is scope for individual attendees to introduce their own models for discussion. The course is delivered in our modern air-conditioned classroom conveniently located in central London. We can also deliver both on-site and bespoke training solutions. Please do get in touch with any questions you have regarding our training programs. We'd love to hear from you.